use of the prepositions. When are we going to use at, on, in, and by? But before we start, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to your channel Inglés para tu vida. It's absolutely free. And don't forget to share this video with all the people who want to learn English. Let's see. When we talk about transportation, we are not going to use the preposition at. At doesn't have to do anything with transportation. Let's see on. The preposition on is used, for example, if I say I went to Italy on a bus, on a plane, and on a train. Now, what do these vehicles have in common? They are large means of transport. And you share these vehicles with many people. I mean, you don't have your own bus, your own plane, or your own train, right? But there's an exception, and it's with the word boat. Why? You can say, I went to Italy on a boat, if it's a big boat that you share with many people. But if you have your own boat for rowing, for example, or fishing, you can say, by I went fishing in a boat. But check that here we are talking about a small boat, a personal boat, only for me and somebody else perhaps, right? But if I'm talking about big boats or cruises, all right, and I share these big vehicles with many people, I use the preposition on. That's a good tip. Now, what happens with the preposition in? I can say, I came here in a car or in a taxi, right? So, car and taxi are small vehicles and I use them for my own person. I have my car, maybe me and my family get in the car, but it's not for public transportation. In the case of taxi, you may be a little bit confused and said, but Gisela, taxi is a public transport. Yes and no. It's public until the moment that you hire the taxi driver and then it becomes a personal vehicle, right? That's for you, only for you. So in these two cases, you are going to use in, in a car, in a taxi. Interesting thing happens with by. By is the way that you get to a point. So the question is, how did you get here? Right? They are asking you how. How did you get here? I got here by car, by train, by plane, or by boat. Right? Now, something important also here is the word bicycle. Right? Where am I going to put bicycle? Then, I'm going to put bicycle here. And you might say, but Gisela, you said that bus, plane, and train were big vehicles. And a bicycle is a small vehicle. Yes, but when you talk about a bicycle, you get on the bicycle, you sit on it, and you start riding it, all right? So you are not really in a bicycle, but on a bicycle. That's an exception. See you in the next part. Now, how do these prepositions act when we talk about location? When we say at, and that's fantastic, at means an exact point, right? For example, if I say, meet me, meet me at my house, right? I'm talking about an exact point. It doesn't mean at the restaurant, in the park, in the next street. It means an exact point. For example, when you want to ask for a taxi, you have here the point that says location, and you have to activate it 
so that the taxi driver knows exactly where you are and this person can pick you up. So at refers to an exact point. In the case of the preposition on, we are talking about a surface, right? We're talking about a surface and here I can say on a tray I have an orange, an orange is on a tray, a banana is on a tray, a lemon is on a tray, and an apple is on a tray, right? They are on the surface. Great! So, what happens with the preposition in? Oh, for instance, here I have a box and I'm going to put the red marker now is in the box, the black marker is in the box, and the blue marker is in the box. You cannot see it, right? You cannot see them right now. Difference with this example that you can see all the fruit on a tray, right? So when we talk about preposition in, we can not see the objects that are here, right? They are inside. Mm -hmm. In the case of by, is the same as the preposition near or the preposition close, right? For example, I can say a banana is by an apple, right? Or I can say an orange is by a banana and a banana is by an apple, right? So it means near, close. The same with the marker. I can say the red marker is by the blue marker and this um, red marker is by the blue marker, right? So here we check these four prepositions in reference to location. Let's continue. Now, what happens with the prepositions at, on, in and by, but when we talk about time? When we say hours, like for example 10.15, 9 o'clock, 8.30, etc., we use the preposition at. So we use at for exact hours. The meeting is at 8 o'clock. The class starts at 9 o'clock, all right, for exact hours. In the case of the preposition on, we are talking about days. For example, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We say on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday, but also with words that contain this D-A-Y, the word day. For example, on Christmas day, and it has the word day right here, all right? Or if I say on holiday or on holidays, if I have the word day or days, you can say on, on holiday, on holidays. The same for the word birthday, right? It has also the word day inside. So I say on my birthday, right? So in these cases, I use the preposition on. Also, I want to say that you use the preposition on for complete dates. For example, on September the 1st. I'm talking about the month and the day, so I say on, on January the 13th, right? Great! In the case of the preposition in, we are going to use it for uh, long periods of time. If we talk about weeks or months or years, so I can say in two weeks, in three weeks, in five weeks. In the case of months, also I use the preposition in in January, in February, in April, right? And also for the years. The years can be current years, for example, in 2020, or years in the past. 
1989, I graduated from school, or future years. In the year 2025, I'll be living in Argentina, all right? So, we use the preposition in for weeks, months, and years, long periods of time. Finally, we have the preposition by, and we use the preposition by when we talk about end time or deadlines. For example, send me the email by 10 o'clock. It means that's the final time, the end time, the deadline. Don't send me the email tomorrow, so send me the email by 10 o'clock. Not at 11, not at midnight, but at 10 o'clock. By 10 o'clock means the end time. And that's all. That's all about prepositions. This class is very clarifying. Don't forget to write your comments in the part uh, below that we have in the video. And subscribe to your channel Inglés Para Tu Vida. Share this video with all the people who want to learn English. Thank you so much for your attention and put in practice the class that we have today. Bye!